Each and every week here on Fantasy Sports Today, we love to present winners to you here. And our winner of the million dollars on FanDuel last week is our new friend, Mike Stauffer. You can follow him on Twitter at 2 k Stauff. That's S-T-A-U-F-F. And he joins us now here to talk about being the million-dollar winner last Sunday uh, over on FanDuel. Mike, thank you so much for coming on Fantasy Sports today. It is great to see you. How are you? How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling great. Thanks for having me. I'm just super excited. Uh, the past couple of days feel so surreal, unbelievable. I uh, feel so lucky. <laughs> And just still, still kind of in shock about yeah, everything that happened. I, I, I bet you know, you know. Sometimes, Mike, we we have people on who play a lot on Fanduel and who win a lot on Fanduel. But your story is really great because uh, you don't win a lot, as you said. And and, th- and this is and this is like you know, you go into this thing and you you know, you start off on a Sunday. So I, I, I suppose before we catch up to now let's go back to it you're building a lineup i'm assuming on saturday and you hit the submit button on sunday what goes into the thought process for you well so, so this week was such a weird week for me because normally i do spend the whole week thinking about my lineups but unfortunately with uh all the positive covid testing this week i was i was purposely waiting a little bit closer to kick off to kind of get a better idea of what the ownership percentages might be this week and to really uh have as much information as i possibly could so Sunday morning was a, a bit stressful trying to get as much research done as I could before the games, but it was uh, uh, exciting to be, be able to submit a lineup that, that ended up being so great. Yeah, no, and, and definitely was the case. I, I mean, if, if a Dallas Cowboys quarterback is going to throw for 500 yards, I guess that gets you off to a good start, right? I mean, that, once you see that, you know you got a good shot at winning some money. But again, <laughs> you got to build it with other players. And, and who are some of the other players that you built it with? Well, I'm so I'm actually a Browns fan, so it was kind of interesting. It was a, a game I was really heavy on just as a fan, and uh, I thought, you know, with the Browns scoring so many points the past couple of weeks against a couple, of, you know, suspect defenses, it felt like a game that just really stood out to me. So I had a, I had multiple lineups with that stack in there with a double stack on the Cowboys and and Odell running it back, and uh, and then I just kind of stuck with uh, something that I do a lot and just went with some home running backs, uh, some, some games that I liked. I liked Dalvin cook, even though that was a road game against the Texans, they, they've been struggling to stop the run. So the lineup just came together very well. I uh, stacked the defense with, with, with cook yeah. and, and a week mm-hmm. where the defense de- luckily there wasn't really a defense that went, went off this week. There were no like big uh, touchdown scoring defenses. So, you know, it was just crazy to see everything come into play on Sunday. Yeah, and and look, when we look at your lineup here, you had Prescott, Davis, Mixon had the game of his life, uh, Lamb had a great game, Beckham we're going to get to here in a second, Amari Cooper, uh, Andrews, Dalvin Cook, and of course you stacked it with the Minnesota Vikings. But you said you're a Browns fan, and look, let's be honest, Mike, no one could ever predict that even with, I'm sorry, even with Cleveland going up against Dallas, that that Beckham would have done what he did. Uh, I, I, I got to tell you, he has been a, I'm sure you know too, he's been a massive disappointment both in fantasy and reality. But if this guy could just do half of this every week in DFS, people would be very happy. Well, you know, as a Browns fan, you always have to be optimistic. So I it just, I'm just so ecstatic with the three and one start and seeing them kind of put things together this year that I, I, I believe that they're going to be great again. Every week they, 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 every time there's a game like this, they just get all of Cleveland so excited and, uh, Seeing that on Sunday was great. I mean, there were points during the game, the during the slate where I'm so used to losing, I didn't think there was really a chance I was ever going to win the million dollars. That I was kind of scared. I was kind of rooting against Dak and rooting against my lineup because I just want to see the Browns win. So right. it was, and then the Odell hit that reverse for a touchdown. I was like, wait a minute, this is uh, this is getting kind of serious now. I might actually might actually be onto something with this lineup. So it yeah. was a it was a roller coaster of emotions when uh, when that game was going back and forth. I'll tell you that. I, I can't imagine what the last five minutes of this must have been like for you, Mike. Where, I, I mean, I can only picture myself, and I can't even picture myself like refreshing, refreshing. Is this really happening? Am I sure? Like, is you sure there wasn't a glitch? Like, am I really a millionaire here? Like, what were the emotions like in the last couple of minutes? Well, I mean, you know, the whole. I was luckily I was in he- in in, a, in the lead after the 1 p.m. games. So the 4 p.m. games where I, I actually like left my house, I went for a walk. I had no players in the 4 p.m. Sl- uh, the slate of games at all. So had to get away, stop watching Red Zone for a little bit, take a couple deep breaths, went, went for a walk with my wife and daughter. 
And then I, uh, the person in second place said uh, he was he was tight on my tail with Darren Waller. So I was watching Darren Waller every play. It was the weirdest way I've ever watched a football game. I focused on one player, just <laughs> watched every route he ran. Uh, couldn't believe Derek Carr didn't throw him the ball more, but I'm so super I thankful know. for that. Might have to buy a Derek Carr jersey with, with some of the money. Uh, it, it was a crazy Sunday, and I, everybody I know is reaching out to me, like all my family and friends. Uh, it was crazy. It was it was one of the coolest days of my life, that's for sure. Oh, I'm sure. Now, now, what does your wife think about all this? Because I'm look, I, I know with my wife, you know, I, I guess we could call it frivolous money. Honestly, like for me, I'm married, I have two kids, and you know, when I throw money at different things, the great thing is, you know, I'm sure like you I have a great relationship with my wife. So it's not like I'm getting questioned or anything like that. But of course, you get that little eye roll a little bit when you spend money. What is she thinking now that you made your family a million dollars just for playing <laughs> Dak Prescott? <laughs> yeah, to be honest with you, I'm not sure she had any idea that I that I was playing FanDuel like this. <laughs> she watched, <laughs> Obviously, she, watched, she watches me watching sports and she, she's a, she's a trooper. She's she toughs it out with me, watches the game. She loves the Browns, too. Uh, and I didn't really say much, you know, during the 1 p.m. games. I took a screenshot that I was in first and sent it to my buddies thinking, oh, this is cool. I'll brag that I, I was in first place at the million dollar contest for a little bit. And then as things started getting serious, uh, she knew who she had to root against in the 4 p.m. games. All of a sudden it became a little bit more serious. And it was a uh, it was a really fun day for both of us. It was it was exciting. I, I don't think she even believed it after it happened. I don't think she <laughs> even even to this day, I don't think she really believes any of this happened. But it's uh it's real. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and I think your story is so great, Mike, because for some people who play a lot on DFS, certainly it is a big deal and it's like pseudo life changing. But I'm guessing for you, this is like really life changing. Like th this is this is going to alter. It, it probably won't alter who you are. I mean, if you're a Browns fan, you're going to stay a Browns fan. And, and certainly, you know, you live your life the way you're going to live. But anybody that wins a million dollars doing anything definitely has a change in, in their life in some way. And I'm guessing that's going to be that like that for you. Oh, for sure. I mean, it's I mean, I still wake up and like and it's only been a couple of days, but I pinched myself thinking that uh, I'll be able to pay for my daughter's college without having to stress. And, and you know, just things like that as uh, as things go forward and uh it's 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 very surreal. It's 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 hard to believe, but I, it's definitely going to be uh, you know life changing, like you said. There's just yeah, it's great. Sure. <laughs> now, now uh, for people who don't know, who don't follow you on Twitter at two K stuff on Twitter, uh, you are uh, in charge of player ratings at NBA two K, and and I'm guessing uh, given what we talked about before the show, you love absolutely love uh, working for NBA two K and doing that. And you've said that you're staying. You're not. Oh. You're not. You're not doing the uh, the LeBron show about free agency. You're going to. You're staying with NBA 2K. And 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 I know that you've said so much. Uh, how thankful you were to have that, and still to have that job with them. It's great, right? Oh yeah, I'm I'm honestly living living the dream in, in more than one way right now. It's it's it was a dream job of mine forever, and uh, and nothing's changed in that regard. I'm so happy, uh, you know, to have my job and to be uh, working hard to, you know, make fun video games for people. So, uh, you know, li life's great. I'm I'm so blessed to have won this won this contest, and I feel very blessed to, you know, be able to continue working at my job and and uh, and yeah, have fun watching sports and 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 yeah, it's just it's. Life couldn't be much better in, in this moment, that's for sure. Well, congratulations, Mike. We love to hear these great stories about winners, especially those who have it unexpected. And and Mike is, is you know super transparent with this, saying he's lost a lot <laughs> through the years just playing as a regular dude on FanDuel, and now he's uh, he's a winner of a million dollars. And uh, certainly when the Miami Heat season starts up next year and I'm disappointed with the rankings. I know where to go to uh, to complain about it on uh, on NBA 2K. Uh, Mike, thank you so much uh, for coming on Fantasy Sports today. Again, congratulations. Thank you so much for telling your story to us and best of luck on FanDuel the rest of the season. Well, I, thank you so much. I do have to add one thing. My wife did want me to say that we do a uh, family and friends uh FanDuel Fantasy League that's season long, and she she wanted me to let you guys know that she beat me this week. So no. Congrats. congratulations, <laughs> Ms. Stauffer. All in all, you're, you're the big winner regardless of this. You cashed <laughs> in twice. Okay? I have to shout out my, my cousins and family that beat me in, in FanDuel this week uh, in, in other contests, so I just had to make sure that they, they got it out there. They got a shout out. <laughs> all right, Mike. Thanks for coming on the show. Really appreciate it.
Thank you so much. All right, Mike Stauffer with us. We'll be back with more fantasy sports today. Don't go away.